so people in this video we want to look at uh, the definition of blindness so there are many definitions of blindness according to who 65 definitions have been published however in ophthalmology the inability to perceive light pl absent pl negative is what is called as blindness okay so this is nothing but absolute or total blindness uh, which is the ophthalmology definition who anyways does have a uh, definition for blindness that is if visual acuity is less than 3 by 60 snellens visual acuity less than 3 by 60 it is called as blindness guys pay attention here this is the snellens chart so where is uh, uh, normal vision is 6 by 6 right 6 by 6 or 20 by 20 this is the vision normal so if it is less than 3 by 60 that means if uh, this is 6 by 60 worse than this they cannot see this also even with correction so that will become blindness okay so less than 3 by 60 snellens or its equivalent visual acuity is called as blindness who definition for blindness so uh, also there is another parameter which you can consider either this or the visual field less than 10 degree centigrade that is this is the visual field let's say for right eye here you can see there are many degrees this is 10 degree so if it is less than this the only this much they can see yeah yeah so if they can see only this much then it is called as uh, deaf uh, blindness okay so now did you understand the definition of blindness <clears throat> according to who less than 3 by 60 snellens visual acuity less than 3 by 60 is called as uh, blindness or the central visual field less than 10 degree less than 10 degrees of visual field uh, that is also called as blindness okay now what happens if a person doesn't have uh, snellens chart or uh, etc then there is another definition that can help this is the definition inability to count fingers in daylight at a distance of 3 meters so this person he's the person who does, has blindness he is standing 3 meters away from you in sunlight and he cannot count your fingers then this person is blind okay so that is the who definition so you can see here guys that um, 3 by 60 <clears throat> snellens or uh, less than 10 degree visual uh, acu uh, visual field or this cannot count fingers at a distance of 3 meters in daylight these are the definition of who blindness okay in india the national program for control of blindness and visual impairment npcbvi also has the same definition now now they have the same definition less than 3 by 60 visual field less than 10 degree etc same definition is there with the national program for control of blindness and visual impairment guys so now till now what and all you looked at you looked at who definition of blindness and uh, then you looked at the npcbvi definition of blindness which is same as who right so there are other uh, terminologies that we should know let us look at them now so there is something called as total blindness that is the ophthalmologic blindness absolute blindness no perception to light at all they cannot differentiate whether they are in light or darkness then you have something called as legal blindness social blindness economic blindness and normal so uh, normal we will just see okay normal is here that you can read this line from a meet a distance of 6 meters if you can read this from a distance of 6 meters if you can read this then you are normal right 20 by 20 vision or 6 by 6 vision that is 6 meters okay 20 feet so this is normal now if a person cannot even see this p right so this is 6 by 6 p so beyond this now let us say 3 by 60 then you have 1 by 60 then you have perception of light negative positive negative so <clears throat> just see this it's easy okay guys look at this normal is 6 by 6 economic blindness is less than 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 social blindness that the one we saw now guys who npcbvi that is less than 3 by 60 that is this one social blindness legal blindness less than 1 by 60 less than 1 by 60 till perception of light if they cannot perceive light total blindness ophthalmology considers this as blind absolute blindness no perception to light how many people understood all this now okay so now let us draw this again 6 by 6 normal then here you have 6 by 60 that big letter then 3 by 
then 1 by 60, perception to light also off, negative. So, what are the blindness uh, called here? This is normal. So, let's use a green here. This one is definitely normal, 6 by 6. Okay. See, remember that all these are with corrections. Okay. They should be wearing specs. Then only they will be called as blind. If they are corrected and still they cannot, best possible correction and still they have this much. So, 6 by 60, what did we say? Economic blindness, work blindness. 3 by 60, what did we say? This is the WHO definition, right? And the NPCBVI definition. This is also called as something else. What is this? Social blindness. <clears throat> 1 by 60, legal blindness. PL negative, total blindness, absolute ophthalmologic okay same definitions let us see again normal economic social social is the one that goes with who and npcbvi 3 by 60 legal blindness total blindness did you understand all the definition all the blindness now can you say legal less than 1 by 60 legal less than 1 by 60 say legal, legal yeah less than less than 1 by 60. very good very good okay so if you heard that legal uh, less than 1 by 60 Till the perception of light, okay. If no perception of light, total ophthalmologic absolute blindness, okay. So, this is all about blindness. Now, if blindness is this, then what is visual impairment? If it is less than 6 by 18, it is called as visual impairment. If it is less than one, uh, 6 by 18 Snellens, it is called as visual impairment. So, you know the Snellens chart, right? But actually now, you know what? They don't use the Snellens chart. Uh, they like Logmar chart. They find Logmar chart better. But anyway, Snellens chart uh, is used in the definition. So, let's go with this. Now, look at this. This is also not difficult. Visual impairment categories. Look at this. Normal is what? 6 by 6. Same thing is there here. So, till 6 by 18, normal. 6 by 18, uh, beyond that is visual impairment. So, they have moderate or severe visual impairment. Moderate is 6 by 16 to um, 6 by 60. 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 is uh, severe visual impairment. Remember after 3 by 60 it is blindness, right? That is the WHO definition, right? Less than uh, 3 by 60 or less than 10 degree visual field. All these are blindness. So this one is what? Less than 3 by 60 is what? WHO definition, social blindness. Then less than 1 by 60 is what? Vis uh, legal blindness, no light perception, total absolute ophthalmologic blindness. Same thing only visual impairment. They are giving this uh, these two categories as visual impairment. Less than six by six, uh, six by eighteen to this uh, six by sixty. Right till there, they are calling it as visual impairment. So let's just go back here. <clears throat> here you can add a category visual impairment. Visual impairment. You can add one category. Right? What do you say? Visual impairment. That is from this 6 by uh, 18, less than 6 by 18 is visual impairment till 6 by 60, isn't it? So, this is moderate visual impairment. This economic blindness itself is nothing but uh, severe visual impairment, if you check. This economic blindness is nothing but uh, severe Visual impairment. Let's check. Less than 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 is economic blindness. It seems to be matching with less than 6 by 60 to 3 by 60 is severe visual impairment. Yes, this is nothing but severe visual impairment. Severe visual impairment or work blindness, economic blindness, severe visual impairment. All those seem to be matching. Okay, so this completes um, the entire thing. So let us just uh, map it. What do you say guys? Normal is 6 by 6, 6 by 18 somewhere here let us say, from 6 by 18 to some 6 by 60, less than 6 by 60 if it is, it is economic blindness that is beyond this chart, isn't it? Then you have 3 by 60, 1 by 60 and then you have perception of light negative. So 3 by 60, social blindness, legal blindness 1 by 60. Total blindness, no perception of light. Okay. So, you have to give these ranges. You cannot just say less than 3 by 60. You have to give range also. Okay. So, we have written that here. 
normal vision 6 by 6 to 6 by 18 years. Guys, now you have understood uh, you have understood terminologies like blindness. You have understood terminologies like visual impairment. Have you understood what visual disability is? See, visual disability is, uh, look at this, it's a percentage basically. This is uh, left eye here. Here left eye and here right eye. Okay. So, right eye, let us say, they have written here 6 by 60 is here, 1 by 60 is here. So, this is bad, right? 1 by 60 is bad. So, this is 1 by 60. In this 1 by 60 is here. So, let us say if you look at this, this is 90% disability. Okay, if it is PL negative, PL negative, both the eyes are PL negative, 100% visual disability this person has, right? Now, let us say both the eyes, he has 6 by 6 vision that we will see here. Left eye 6 by 6 vision, right eye 6 by 6 vision, 6 by 6 to 6 by 18, 0% disability. Nice, right? This is visual disability. Guys, there are some more terminologies you should know here like avoidable blindness, preventable blindness, curable blindness. Under avoidable itself, you have these, okay? So, under avoidable, what and all do you have? You have preventable and curable. So, in Vision 2020 and any a national program, they want to uh, reduce this avoidable blindness. Because it is avoidable, they want to reduce it. So, what are preventable blindness? That can be prevented. So, any infections like trachoma, which is a very leading cause of infective blindness. So, we can reduce trachoma by hygiene. There is a safe strategy for uh, trachoma, right? They will give uh, prophylactic antibiotics, hygiene, right, all that. Then vitamin A deficiency uh, to prevent xerophthalmia. So, they are giving prophylactic vitamin A. Glaucoma cannot be cured. The optic damage, uh, optic nerve damage cannot be reversed. But at least you can prevent further damage, right? So, it become preventable. Curable means uh, if a person has refractive error, so, you can cure it. If the person has cataract, you can cure it. How do you uh, cure refractive error? You can give them spectacles or you can do uh, LASIK, right? LASIK surgery. Cataract blindness, you can remove the crystalline lens and put an intraocular lens. So, these are all curable, right? So, you should understand these terminologies. What is avoidable blindness? What is preventable blindness? What is curable blindness? Examples, you should know all of them. So, let's take a recap of what we have seen in this video. In this video, we look, wanted to look at the definition of blindness. So, we saw that uh, there are many definitions. WHO definition is less than visual acuity less than 3 by 60 snellens or its equivalent is called as blindness. So, if they are saying uh, less than 3 by 60, they are not giving another uh, limit, right? They are 3 by 60, less than 3 by 60. What and all can be less than 3 by 60, less than 1 by 60. Perception of light positive or negative, everything will come under blindness then. That means legally blind, ophthalmologic blindness, absolute blindness, total blindness, everything comes under that weight. Less than 3 by 60, right? So, from here, everything becomes WHO blindness. All this becomes WHO blindness because they are saying less than 3 by 60. So, let, so it will include social blindness, legal blindness, total, ophthalmologic, absolute, everything will be under WHO. And NPCBVI has the same definition of WHO now. So, you can include all of these, okay? <coughs> so, these are other terminologies that you should know like economic blindness, what is visual impairment, moderate visual impairment, severe visual impairment, right? All that you can know. Normal vision, they are considering 6 by 6 to 6 by 18 after correction. All these are after correction. Categories of visual impairment, we saw all this. Visual disability is the percentage. And then we saw some terminologies like avoidable blindness, which includes preventable blindness and curable blindness. That's all for now in this video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.